picture is worth a thousand words. Napoleon Bonaparte. In a vast and developing nation like India, accurate and timely information is critical for proper planning and formulation of policies. Although this data is available in the form of census reports, but it becomes more meaningful when it is shown through thematic maps. Map making has been a tradition of the nation since centuries. Cartographers like Hipparchus, Ptolemy and Mercator have made the maps of the globe. Earliest examples of scientific map making in India can be found in the 11th century. Maps drawn during the Mughal period by Todarmal are fine examples of the skill of Indian map makers. The mapping tradition of India was put on a firm scientific basis during the British period. Major James Reynolds, the first Surveyor General of Bengal and Sir George Everest have greatly contributed to the development of cartography in the country. These maps made with conventional equipments are still accurate and precise. In the post-independence period, the Survey of India under Brigadier Gambhir Singh the first Indian Surveyor General made Indian cartography equivalent to the best in the world. The census of India occupies a pride of place in the mapping history of India with a legacy dating back to more than 140 years since 1872. The cartographic acumen of the organization can be seen in the earliest thematic maps published in the census reports of Rajputana province, Cochin, Bombay Presidency, Mysore State and Bengal in 1872. Every succeeding census improved the quality as well as the number of excellent thematic maps based on census data which were an integral part of census reports up to 1931. District census handbooks brought out by the census organization contained excellent administrative maps with the latest boundaries which were often the only available maps at the district level. These were a great asset to the administrators and policy makers in particular and the larger community of data users in general. Exclusive map products from the census in the form of thematic atlases became routine after 1961. In the last two decades, administrative atlases have been added to the range of map products. All these products are in great demand amongst the data users within the country and abroad. Mapmaking technology in the census of India has evolved from the conventional method of map making through hand drawing on tracing paper and different writing techniques like crow quill, stencil sets, Leroy sets scribing etc. to state-of-the-art computer-assisted cartography adopted since 1991. Map making using satellite imagery introduced in Census 2011 has added a feather in the cap of the organization. GIS technology has now become an integral part of data dissemination. The capabilities of the census organization in cartography are unique in the country. Apart from the central cartographic lab at New Delhi, 
which is equipped with high-end equipment. Sophisticated cartographic labs have also been established at 26 state directorates. Manned by a dedicated team of more than 200 highly trained professionals, the map division of the Census of India is indeed a national asset. The vast pool of knowledge and expertise available in the organization is utilized to build capacity within the country and abroad through technical training programs and workshops. The Indian Census is the biggest source for all administrative unit maps up to village and town level in the country. The organization has the updated geo database of all administrative units, that is, 640 districts, 5,924 sub districts, 4,041 towns, and more than 6,40,000 villages. It is notable that the unique coding system for identifying administrative units formulated by the Census of India has now been adopted as the national standard. Besides thematic and administrative maps, notional layout maps prepared during the conduct of censors are in great demand for conducting various surveys and censuses by other organizations. The repository of more than two and a half million hand-drawn layout maps showing each and every building structure of the country is a vital national database which is not available anywhere else. Dissemination of census data and map products is of great importance. Special efforts are made by the organization to reach out to the data users by participating in various national and international forums. The Census Library at New Delhi is a great asset to research scholars and data users. Innovative dissemination products called Census Info and Census Info Dashboard are also very popular among data users. The organization has been bestowed with a number of prestigious awards and recognitions for its achievements in the field of cartography at the national and international level. Not prepared to rest on its laurels, the map division of the Census of India continues in its quest for excellence. It has already drawn up ambitious plans to explore population dynamics, gender issues and other socially relevant aspects using cartographic techniques in the days to come. The journey of more than 140 years has been full of innovation and achievements. As the Census of India looks ahead to its 150th year, it rededicates itself to the service of the nation.